Do fairies and national parks go together in the USA? Within the vast and immaculate wilderness of America's national parks, magic whispers from ancient trees and bubbling streams proclaiming nature's supremacy. It has long been believed that the fairies, those mysterious and elusive beings, find refuge in these protected areas. The combination of pristine environments, abundant wildlife, and a mystical atmosphere that permeates these hallowed areas makes them alluring to beings that appreciate nature's transcendent beauty. The wild forests, foggy mountains, and meandering pathways found in national parks provide the ideal habitat for fairies. The vivacious energy of the natural environment, the soothing sounds of running water, and the mesmerizing melodies of bird songs all beckon these otherworldly creatures. Fairies can easily enjoy their otherworldly activities in these sanctuaries, where human intrusion is minimal. They can dance among the wildflowers and bask in the moonlight's silvery glory. Numerous tales and sightings have reinforced the notion that fairies do, in fact, frequent these natural wonders. Some hikers have claimed seeing brief movements out of the corner of their eyes, but all they saw was the soft fall of leaves. The sound of ghostly laughter reverberates through the night's silence, waking up the campers. Some have even reported seeing tiny lights that flicker among the vegetation, similar to fairy lanterns. Fairy encounters in national parks often evoke mystery and a hint of the unexplainable. Hikers have told stories of coming across magical glades where there seemed to be an unearthly spirit in the air, only to become mysteriously lost after they left. Others describe feeling completely at ease and content, as if a magical shield covers them. Many accounts speak of just catching momentary glimpses of what looked like small, winged creatures, or humanoid figures darting among the wildflowers, bushes and trees. Many people report that these sightings are fleeting, appearing in the periphery of their vision and then disappearing again. Many people report seeing glowing orbs or mysterious lights floating or dancing amid the greenery, especially in the evenings or near sunset. Some people have said that these lights have a characteristic pulsating or sparkling aspect that makes them look like will-o'-the-wisps or fairy lanterns. Campers and hikers have reported hearing ethereal laughter or wonderful musical music that appears to come from somewhere. People sometimes describe these noises, resonating through the trees or over valleys, as ethereal, lovely and eerie. Many individuals who claim to have seen fairies in national parks describe a great feeling of enchantment or confusion. Even on well-travelled paths, they could experience an intense sense of calm and serenity or discover that they've mysteriously lost their way or turned around. Some tourists have reported finding circular patterns made of flattened grass, mushrooms or disturbed vegetation that resemble fairy circles or fairy rings, according to local legend. Some people think that these shapes are the outcome of fairy dances or meetings. Some reports include seeing exceptionally colourful or luxuriant plant growth in certain places or seeing wildlife, like birds or squirrels, seeming to interact with unseen entities for no apparent reason. While there are numerous American national parks with stories of fairy sightings and interactions, certain areas appear to have gained a greater reputation for these paranormal activities. Both Tennessee and North Carolina are home to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Old forests, foggy highlands, and abundant Cherokee tradition have long connected the Great Smoky Mountains to fairy tales. Hikers and campers have observed ethereal music, odd entities among the woods, and mysterious lights. Located in California is Yosemite National Park. Yosemite's spectacular grandeur, featuring towering cliffs, gushing waterfalls and peaceful meadows, has sparked stories of fairy sightings. Some guests swear they saw small winged creatures dancing in the moonlight or darting among the wildflowers. Reports of fairy sightings occur in Maine's Acadia National Park. Folklore about fairies has long surrounded Acadia National Park, which is home to mysterious islands, thick forests and a rough coastline. In the park's remote coves and woodlands, locals and visitors have told tales of seeing fairy circles, hearing entrancing music, and catching glimpses of otherworldly creatures. Washington State is home to Olympic National Park. Olympic National Park's varied habitats, foggy valleys, and old rainforests have captivated fairy aficionados. In some parts of the park, hikers have reported experiencing an odd sensation of enchantment, which has fueled legends about fairy dwellings hidden away in the lush vegetation. An easier place to see fairies is in Ohio's Cuyahoga Valley National Park. Cuyahoga Valley National Park's twisting rivers, steep gorges and dense forests have allegedly played host to multiple fairy sightings, even though it's not as isolated as other of the western parks. This is especially true in the vicinity of sites that hold historical significance for Native American tribes. This region in Ohio attracts fairies. 
Some fervently believe in the existence of fairies and their affection for these natural havens, even while skeptics may write such stories off as mere fancy. According to several theories, fairies can spirit away naive travellers and take them to the magical and enigmatic kingdom of fairyland. Some people assert that these kidnappings are a way for fairies to impart their age-old knowledge and build stronger ties with humans by serving as a reminder of our innate connection to the natural world and the other worlds that coexist with our own. As we gently meander through the intricate pathways of the United States National Parks, let us be open-minded to the opportunities that exist beyond the everyday. Because in these places of breathtaking natural beauty, where the curtain between worlds is drawing closer, people who are willing to accept the mysteries of the invisible and have open hearts may still be able to hear the whispers of fairy magic.